just get the run around. Wham bam, cap out, who's gonna help us now? <laughs> Call the feds, the people cry, these bad guys got no alibi. Is there a crime buster in the house? Call for Elliot Mouse. No baloney, this guy's no phony, honest to the bone. Step on the gas mask. Well, hello there, Tom. No one walks these streets at night. The sirens wail and bullets fly. We need a little justice now. Call for Elliot Mouse. We live in fear of cheese racketeers. In the sky. But we've got tough guys on our side. So kiss your kids goodbye. Incredible. Incredible. Unbribable. Unbribable. The untouchable. The untouchable. She's there were times in its history when the city of Chicago gave in to the whims and fancies of gangster Al Catone. So that if Catone decided he liked baseball, Chicago had to have the best player. <laughs> and if Catone decided he liked to eat the best cuisine, then Chicago could proudly boast the finest restaurants in the world serving the most delicious food. <sighs> The enormous amount of money that the gangsters spent in the stores of Chicago attracted many rich and exclusive businesses to the area, such as jewelers, furriers, art galleries, each one itself subject to the influence of gangsters like Catone. Businesses that were protected by the police. Dear officer, a little something for your assistance in this matter. And the police were on Catone's payroll. Oh, stop him, stop that man. Hey, aren't you gonna stop that thief officer? Ah, shut up oh. and stop making a racket. Oh. Wave of holdups continues. Businessmen soon realized there was only one law in this city, Catone's Law, the law not to be broken. You only got a lousy hundred big ones up them shopkeepers. They won't pay our protection rates anymore, Senior Catone. They say after all the holdups, they're broke. The ingratitude of it. After all we've done for them, this is how they repay us. Maybe huh? we should give them a reminder, Senior Catone. Something to wake them up, huh? We'll milk them until they're dry, Nitty. That's why I've called a few old friends from my childhood days. Not those three lazy Gemma brothers. Hey, look at the big tough guys Don Alfonso's got guarding him. You're right, my brother. Alphonse never did choose his friends very well. Come now, Bernardo. Why must you be so offensive? I'm sure the poor things work very hard. The Gemma brothers were never exactly top material, but to fleece these shopkeepers, we need people who are experts at sewer systems. Well, them stinkers should be good at that. After all, a sewer is where a sewer cat belongs. <laughs> huh? You got yourself quite a funny man here, Alphonse. Well, I don't think he's so funny. Oh! And I could never allow this rat to say I was from the sewers. <laughs> All right, boys, leave him alone. He just gets a little excited. We gotta work together if we're to pull off the crime of the century. <laughs> Don't worry, Alphonse. We will take care of your friend and make sure nothing happens to him. All right, and another friend from our old school days is gonna be joining us to complete the team. That's Antonio Catuso. Catuso? That dirty snitch? Why we gotta work with him? I don't operate with no stool, the pigeon. Anytime we did anything, he'd tell the teacher. Well, we won't be able to do anything without him, so that's that. Let's just say your work will involve your making use of his incredible voice. Oh, Al's right. What a wonderful voice. Such depth, such pitch. Don't you think Catuso has a beautiful voice? I hate the Catuso. Okay, fellas, let's get down to them sewers. Catuso's about to arrive in the city. I don't know, boss. I don't trust you him. You needn't worry, Nitty. Just follow this map and it'll tell you what to do. In the meantime, send me those two stupid cheddar heads and sell me in Scalise. I got a little job for them. We understand your situation, Mr. Ratfinney. And that's why we fixed up an alarm system to every business in the city. Including the cheese stores? Yes, including the cheese store, Gordon. If the thieves should target your shop again, an alarm will go off in the street. 
And then in less than two seconds, this light will be flashing. You see it? And we'll arrive in the 326 before they can make their getaway. Yeah, and we'll catch those hoodlums cheese-handed, no problem. I'm delighted to hear it. I'm expecting some very expensive diamonds, and I wouldn't like to receive another visit from our friends. You have my guarantee those thefts are history, Mr. Ratfany. Okay? I already feel a lot safer. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Great opera season opens. Catone's friend Catuzo in concert today with Doug Mingo and Contreras. Great Gorgonzola, I gotta go. What? Now what have I said? I promised to take Deborah to the opera, and I'm running late. Hold on, Elliot. We'll take you. Just to see that rat Catuzo in concert. You coming, Wilson? I better stay on duty in case any of the alarms go off, but we'll keep in contact. Alfonso, amigo mio! Antonio, my old friend! Mm. I'm gonna be relying on your loudest top C, Antonio. Elliot should have been here more than an hour ago. He probably had an emergency. He will show up. That's the last straw, Pierre. If he's more important things to do, I'll go by myself. Hey, taxi! Take me to the opera and step on it. Oh, but mademoiselle... And it is a great pleasure for all of us to have Antonio Cattuso with us today, <sighs> the best tenor of all time, whose presence here has been made possible by one of our most outstanding citizens. The defender of our art and culture, Don Alphonse Cateau, who's arranged for the singer to perform at our opera house in a few hours. That's the signal from the boss, and tell me. Come on, shut huh? up, Mr. Mayor. Oh, yeah, let him sing, let him sing. I love a nice tune. Let him sing, let him sing. Do you want I should land at once, Galizzi? No, that won't be necessary, and tell me. Very well, I will end my speech there. Please, Signor Cattuso. Grazie, grazie, you wonderful people. <laughs> Arrivederci, calamari. Arrivederci, mascarpone. Ciao, lasagna. Ciao, ricotta e insulata. Okay, this is it. Now let's hear that top C. Bonciono, bella signora. Parmigiano. Change the jump of the Utade. Spaghetti bolognese, adiamo rapidamente. Oh, you so. Oh, Robin, don't you want a cheese gun? Okay, just one. Whoa! Hey, it's amazing what you get for a quarter. Yeah, think what we get with a dollar. Make a wish, whatever you want, Dolly. Charles, how did you do it? Right, Dolphy, I... The map says we gotta go this way. Ah, boy, I prefer catching hold of that cheese stuff in my drink. The smell offends my nose. I wonder if this rose pet lair freshener will help. Hear that? He wants to take you so long. Hurry it up, will you? Why don't you bums get to work and don't call me Move Ratty? Move it, Ratty. Catoose will be singing by now. Will you quit calling me Ratty, okay? Oh! Whoa! Now it's your turn. It's a sticker. Oh! Oh, no! Oh! The Canadian furriers, Cat Dimes Coin and Stamp Store, Raffinis Jewelers, and what? All of them? What's going on? Step on it, Jack. Huh? The emergency telephone. Yeah, what is it, Wilson? My readings show alarms going off at 17 businesses, Elliot. But that's impossible. Are you quite sure? I've gone over the circuits three times. I'm positive. 
Elliot, look over there. Huh? Raffini's huh? Jewelers has been held up. You better get yourself over here right away, Wilson. We may need you. Right, I'm on my way, Elliot. Huh? Great. Federal agents, anybody see what happened? Just take it easy, fellas. There's nothing happened. What's that, the latest in window design? It's that tenor Katuso with his top C. He's got him broken half the windows in the city. <laughs> it's Mr. Rackney. <laughs> Oh, I've been robbed again. They've stolen my diamonds. Let us through. What happened, sir? The thieves came in through the floor. Come and see it. Must have been some kind of accident. Look. And yeah, they escaped uh, through yeah, the same But hole. I wonder where it leads to. I don't believe it. My nose says that's got to be the sewer. I don't think they'll have gotten very far, so let's go. After you, this could ruin my delicate nose. This place sure is gloomy. Yeah, huh? found something, Wilson? Hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think so. Take a look at it's that. It's a diamond. And I bet it's one Mr. Ratfany had stolen. Right, and they're leaving a good trail for us to follow. That's great, so let's follow them then. Huh? Stop! I've lost their trail! Maybe I got what you're looking for, mister! It's like a little bitty piece of glass, am I right? How do you know that? That's right, it's a diamond, and here, let me show you. It looks a little like this one. A diamond found in the sewers! <laughs> a diamond! <laughs> so that's a real diamond, huh? Ugh. Thanks for the clue, friend. You can keep that. At least the robbery made someone around here happy. Now we have to decide which way from here. Any ideas, Wilson? The diamond trail is quite clear. We go to the left. Uh. Hey! Huh? What's that noise? Watch out, everybody. Jump onto the sides. There's a big wave coming. Whoa! Whoa! Really close, you and your big mouth. Ugh, what a stink. Here's another of them sewer rats, Elliot. Hey, what's going on? I'm trying to sleep. Tell me, Mac, have you seen three armed guys pass by Ask here? Ask the huh? gondolier, he'd know. But... We ain't uh -huh. playing around here, buddy. We're FMI, and this is important. They came this way. Come on, let's go. Hey, that's hey. a pretty neat suit, fella. Right? Just let go of me a Come minute. On. How do you know, Wilson? The gondolier just told me, of course. What? The gondolier? <laughs> ah! These are the prints we're looking for. I wonder where I those steps lead to. Well, let's go and investigate. Now, what the flying fish is Ratty doing bringing us here to this joint? Come on, fellas. Oh, I like it. Huh? You're in the right place, and you're exactly on time. Yeah, so hold it. Hey, where did I put my gun? Oh, I can never find it. Uh, oh, here it is. Now stick them up. You're under arrest. Hand over the diamonds. What diamonds? Yeah, what diamonds? Oh, I thought that's about diamonds. That did it. Now, where are we? Unless I'm very much mistaken, it's a... it's a prompt box like you get at the theater, fellas. Well, then we must be in the opera house. Just keep your hands in the air now. Hand over those diamonds right now. I'm gonna count to three, and then uh, I'm... I didn't know you could count all the way up to three. You moron! Shut up, stupid! All right, fellas, here we go. Two policemen have arrested the Gemma brothers. I don't get it. How could they possibly have known the Gemmas were here? Because those fellas out there ain't real policemen, Wilson. You can tell a policeman by his shoes, and I'm getting a good look at them. 
Now it's one and then four. Yeah, but what comes after that? I think it's 20. Or is it Tuesday? Yeah, it's Anselmi and Scalisi. That's it, then. Al Katone must have hired the Gemma brothers to steal the diamonds. And then get Anselmi and Scalisi to take the diamonds away from them. That's a pretty crafty trick. So what are we just talking about it for? Let's get them, huh? Right, fellas. Cover the entrance and the two emergency exits. Don't try nothing. Huh? What the... Oh! Huh? Oh! I got the diamonds and I got a headache coming. Nice going. Now move it, you mugs. Face the wall, all of you. What the crispy cut's the matter with you, Angela? Why'd you spit those diamonds out? We could've got away with it. They were choking me, you know? no reason. What's up, guys? What happened nice. to those two cops? I'm a federal agent, and it would seem Al Catone's pulled a fast one on you three fellas. Catone? Those two weren't cops. That was Anselmi and Scalisi, and they're Catone's men. The two-faced cat rat, I cut him into tiny pieces. Well, that can wait. You can take your revenge on them when you're all together in the same prison. But in the meantime... Uh. Go away, fellas. You hear? I'll be right back. Hey, watch it. Wait a minute, I smell a fan. It smells more like a sewer. Hold it, FMI agent, I'm tracking some thieves. It's the untouchables, come on, we'll find another way out. Hmm, it's another one of them feds. Oh, what do we do? You got the brains. Let me think. It's Deborah, and if she sees me like this after missing our date, I'm in big trouble. Oh, quite. Well, it smells frankly appalling. What perfume do you use, my dear? Oh, yes. Well, I told you to wash your feet. But I did, Dad. I did. Now then, I brought you both here so you can see how all the elegant people behave in high society. Oh, oh Elliot, is that you? I can explain. I, uh... How dare you turn up here dressed like that? Have you gone out of your mind? Hey, stop it. What are you kids doing? You told us to pay attention so we'd know how to behave, Dad. So we were just getting ourselves dirty like that man over there. I'm on a special mission and I have to go on notice. Fat chance looking like that. Everyone here is dressed nicely. Listen, Elliot, you and I have got to have a serious oh. talk. Excuse me, Deborah. You're under arrest, lady. Oh, help us. Somebody help us. We're being attacked. How ah. dare you? I, uh... Ow! Children, why are you fighting like this? Well, you told us to watch and learn. And where do you think you're going? Better hold it right there, ladies. Hey, where did this one come from? Hey, let me out of here, I can't see a thing. Get this off me if I get my hands on you. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, pieces. Come back and fight like men. Let's head for the back door. Well, you know what I mean. Come on, Jack, after them. Don't let them get away. Hey, wait for us. We're right behind you. Come on. We gotta get rid of them diamonds. Good seat, Senior Caton. There's even a sofa for taking a nap when you get bored. It's about to start, so keep quiet. And you behave yourselves, little guys. Arrivederci, calamari. I think someone's coming. These ropes, we can climb up then and escape. Come on. Don't worry, fellas. They gotta come down sometime. Spaghetti bowl, gunnazy, adiabo, rapida mente. Oh, ye saw the della fruta, bonzio, fruta, signora, mozzarella mio cara. Mio amore, Montadella, Mio amore, Gargonzola, Mio amore. Give it up, fellas. There's nowhere else to run. Right, you losers. Let's have the diamonds. What diamonds? What are you talking about, copper? Come on, you know them diamonds we stole. Shut up, moron. Hmm? We ain't got them. Search us if you like. We got nothing to hide. 
It's no good. They could have hidden them anyway. We could be looking for a hundred years and not find yeah, them. Yeah, and without the diamonds, we don't have any evidence, so we can't even arrest them. Yeah, you're catching them, Fed. Insulata mista, bella signora, Hey, just a minute, listen. Boy, what is it, Elliot? Catuso's top C. It's top C. Oh. Follow me. Come on, it's Sammy. Oh. Of course, diamonds can't be broken by high frequency sound. That's right, Wilson, and there they are. We got them. And I better get them so me and easy. Oh, they'll take care of themselves. David That's strange. What's going on here? Thank you, Catone, for these. Those clowns ruined the whole evening. Come on, Nitty, we're out of here. He's my hero, my own Elliot. And so, with this outrageous and daring success story, Elliot Mouse and his untouchables foiled the heist of the century masterminded by Al Catone. The Gemma brothers, meanwhile, didn't get much time to take revenge on Scalise and Anselmi, who were both released without charge thanks to a couple of Catone's corrupt judges. <laughs> Anyway, the important thing is that thanks to Catuso's voice, we recovered the stolen diamonds. Yeah, but the most important thing to me was cleaning up my image in Deborah's eyes. It's a shame this photo don't do much for your image. But at least you enjoyed the show after all, Deborah. Oh, yes, I enjoyed the show, especially the wonderful actors taking part. You know what I like? And so me and Scalise, they went down well. <laughs> <laughs> so let's drink to us, the Untouchables. The, the Untouchables. Untouchables. With the city of Chicago hit by a wave of mysterious nighttime burglaries, someone will have to face the music. Is this just another Catone smoke screens for another more sinister crime? Or is Chicago's top gangster a victim for once? Guided by their wits, the Untouchables put their plan into action by watching the city from the roof of Chicago's tallest building. Are they in for a fall? Only time will tell. Be sure not to miss one moment in the next thrilling episode of Elliot Mouse and the Untouchables. Thank <laughs> you.